it's quite hard when your, your kids are telling you they don't want you to go to heaven and your mum's already there and she can't come back. I look after people who, whose breathing is limited by conditions like emphysema and chronic bronchitis, which together form a, a, a group of conditions called COPD, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. There's a really big need to try and work out better ways of looking after people with the condition, and particularly of preventing the condition, which is almost completely preventable if we can get people to stop smoking. We've got a corset to wear today and a face mask to wear today. So this face mask is going to show us how if I carried on smoking, that's how I'm going to struggle later on in life. Or it could be sooner than I think. If I don't pack in smoking, I'm going to be walking around breathing like this. I've made a few attempts to stop smoking. I'm not special. The horrible diseases will happen to anyone. There's nothing protecting me. Yeah, I'm here to really learn about COPD because my mum was diagnosed with, with the condition a year and a half ago, and I kind of turned a blind eye to it a little bit. Obviously, I really care about my mum and, and how, how her health is, but I'm a little bit ignorant to the condition. Fine, so I, I guess you're you know, up and down the stairs all the time and don't even notice it, but for someone with COPD, the, you know, just climbing one flight of stairs can be a really big, uh, big obstacle. That was hard. I've gone off, what, five flights of stairs. That'd normally be a breeze for me, but... I need to sit down. Sometimes I've, I've tried and I've thought of her and, and then I end back up on them and I get disappointed and thinking she'll be disappointed because I'm still smoking and I've got children that I could be leaving behind. I found that extremely difficult. I feel out of breath and my legs feel a bit weak. Uh, I don't think I could do that every day. Coming up to retirement, I don't want to have retirement sitting in my front room, wheezing and not doing anything, you know. Right, that was completely horrible. This has really sort of brought it home how serious this isn't me telling me how serious it is, it's accepting that it is actually real. It'll, it'll kill you one day, it, it'll, it'll shorten your life, it'll clip your wings. Take a good long look at me, the life I had, the life I've got. And I so wish I'd never smoked, I wish I'd never seen a cigarette.